Hey everybody, welcome back to Leela Suds. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made Willow, um, which is the last soap in the August collection. And this is what Willow looks like. It's a little bit more like an abstract pour. It's a little bit more simple on top for those of you that prefer something that's a little bit more you know, laid back. <laughs> it just has some really beautiful botanicals on top. Um, I did my own little custom blend of botanicals. I have dried rose petals, some hibiscus petals. I also have some lavender and um, some peppermint leaves. Uh, just here sprinkled on the top, which I think is really nice. Every once in a while you wanna like cut back on all the fancy soap stuff and just maybe some simple relaxing botanicals and then on, on the inside you have these really fun colors um, you have like this forest green like a nice minty turquoise my favorite like mauvey pink and then a nice simple cream I think you know those colors are just really harmonious together and this was actually my first attempt at the June So Challenge Club. And as you can see, it's nowhere near what it should have been, <laughs> what the challenge called for. But you know what? Sometimes um, soap never turns out how you want it to. There's always a different um, result. It can be a tried and true recipe like this. And um, it always turns out differently. As you can see, there was an attempt here to get the um, like the wavy one pot wonder, but it sped up really in incredible on me. So I just decided to do a drop swirl and that's why you have kind of like those colors mixed in there. But I still, it turned out really beautiful. The scent is incredible. Um, it's willow and ivy and it's just really fresh. Um, it's almost a unisex scent. It's really fresh, kind of spa-like, um, very green and lush. So if that's something right up your alley, definitely set your reminder for this one. Willow will be available August 7 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at leelasuds.com. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you that much longer here. I'm going to show you how I made this. And it's just, you know, to show you guys how I make things. I don't really intend my videos to be tutorials. It's just more like a behind the scenes. But um, for any of you soap makers out there, you know, things don't always turn out perfect all the time. I think, you know, it's, it's okay to admit that not everything turns out exactly how you plan it. It still ended up as a really beautiful bar of soap. It's still perfectly good soap and it smells incredible. And you know what, you kinda gotta have to roll with it. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, don't forget to set your reminders for the August collection. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the video. Bye. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting off with my custom blend of botanicals. I have some rose petals, lavender buds, some hibiscus petals, and I also have some nettle leaves. Previously I mentioned peppermint, I meant nettle leaves. This is the fragrance that I'm using. It's Willow and Ivy from Brambleberry. It's absolutely stunning. It's very lush and green and quite unisex, frankly. And these are the colors I'm using. As always, I have them prepped in the mixing bowls that I'm going to be using. I'm using a mix of Savage Garden, um, a little bit of TD. I'm also using Magic Moments and Oleander from Nurture Soap. Now I'm just going to get all um, my gloves ready to go because uh, I'm going to start working with my lye solution. It, and I usually work at room temperature for those of you who know this. I always strain my lye solution uh, just to make sure that there's no debris or lye lint in there. Um, I prep mine in, in bulk and then I just separate what I need um, in a separate container. And I always add sodium lactate just to make sure I have a harder bar of soap, um, or at least it hardens a little bit faster, just because um, I'm quite impatient and I like um, to cut my soap as soon as possible. So the sodium lactate definitely helps with that. Um, and I'm gonna give my oils a little mix and make sure that it's fully incorporated and ready to go.
mentioned, this was going to be my first attempt, or was my first attempt at the June Soap Challenge Club, which was the One Pot Wonder. So I've laid out all my colors in the order that I want to pour them. Um, and the first color that you pour is actually the color that's going to be on top. And as of right now, the batter seems to be pretty good, a pretty good consistency. Um, but as soon as I got to the next color, which had some titanium dioxide, I realized it was thickening up pretty fast. And although this fragrance oil is behaving quite nicely in cold processed soap, for this technique it did thicken up a little bit too much and um, I really didn't get the result that I was aiming for. Um, but I still think it turned out really pretty and um, pouring your batter into a big bucket like this actually is really fun because you never know what you're going to get and um, the result was quite interesting. It was pretty fun. So um, yeah, I definitely, you always learn so much from making mistakes. I think that's definitely the best way to learn because you learn how to tweak things and how to do better next time and what to do and what not to do. And now I'm just going to pour in the mold, which I have a towel underneath so it's in an angle. And as you can see, it's quite thick. Um, I wasn't going to get those wispy layers of colors that the One Pot Wonder technique is known for. So really this just ended up being more like a plop in the mold. Um, but again, it turned out really, really pretty and I love the result. I am very pleased with how these came out. I think the colors are really beautiful. They remind me of kind of like a woodland scene. And the fragrance is beautiful. So it's got notes of sparkling cassis, grapefruit, bergamot, ivy, lily of the valley, and to round it out, notes of willow, violet, and musk. 
I'm so excited for you all to get your hands on these. Don't forget to set your alarm for August 7 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only at lilosuds.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.